There you go, right there. It's all undermined. I don't know how far it's undermined, but it is. Perfect. So that tree got hit with lightning right there while you were stuck here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! My dog fell out! <laughs> oh, rattlesnake! Oh, rattlesnake. Oh, big one too! Before we go down this hill, you gotta remind me, is this the one that has brakes or no? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I am so freaking excited about this recovery, and so is Jeremy. We're going out to get an off-road club. But not an off-road club like any you've ever heard of before. Uh, I met one of the members of this club uh, last about Halloween in a pumpkin patch and he was telling me about who they are and what they do and I wanted to be friends with them. <laughs> Instantly I wanted to go on trips with them, some of the stuff they do and check it all out but uh, work wise I, I just couldn't make it work the couple times we got in touch. But now they're stuck out there so we're going to go get them. Now to show why they're stuck, we stopped right here. Uh, yesterday we had insane thunderstorms come to, through and just like torrential downpour. And you could see all of this just washed completely across the road and blew out. You could see all the mud down here in the bottom where it goes off into the creek. Uh, logs came down. Oh, look at the edge of the road is gone right here. But these guys were, were all out off-roading out here and uh, well, ways out. And then the storm came through, and the way they went in, they could not get back out. So, uh, it filled the creek bed up. This is uh, supposed to be a big drainage right here with a culvert down there somewhere. Yeah, it's not anymore. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it filled in this whole thing. Look at the edge of the road is gone right here. Here's the outlet. There, there's a culvert. If you go like where you're at, probably like eight feet down, there's a culvert. I was gonna say, it used to be down here. It's <laughs> 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 water log where I stepped, I started to go down. Well, it's all hollow underneath there. Well, not hollow, but like that's all stuff that just filled in. So it's probably <laughs> soft. Just a little bit. I weigh like 160 pounds. It's just going like. Man, and th th we've, we've driven through a bunch of sections like this on the way, and there's all these spots where every one of these drainages just came and blew right across the road and filled in the creek down here. So it it was definitely spicy out here yesterday. Uh, some of the locals just stopped. We talked to them. They said this was three feet deep of mud across the road right here. The graders had to come in and get it out of here this morning. And... Uh, we might be in for it on this one. Be a good time. <laughs> yeah. It's always a good time. But be oh, that, that right under the road was washing out. Yeah, right that's there. why I moved over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be an adventure. So we just had to stop here. We're out. We're out on some. I don't even know what roads now. Look at the valley we're looking over though. But we had to stop because look at this beautiful field of flowers out here. It smells so good right here. Watch out for snakes. <laughs> they like to lay in them because all the birds that come down. This is cool. What are they? I don't know, but it smells awesome. Yeah, it totally reminds me of being back in Texas with all the blue bonnets. Look at the valley, the view right here. Look at all the, the lake down there. I see a little cabin down there. There's still snow out there. Ooh, snow. Look at the eagle right there. Oh, there goes the hawk to fight the eagle. Oh, yeah! Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh, we Take caught that! Oh, here he comes again! The hawk is fighting the eagle! Oh, last second. Yes! I don't think I want to mess with that. Okay, now the eagle's down low, the hawk's back up high. God, I hope the camera picks that up. So the eagle's bailing. Look, he's taking off. And the hawk's just cruising his victory cruise over here. The eagle's gone. He's heading way off. That was awesome. Man, I pulled the, the camera out yeah, just in time. Up. Do you see that spin though when he flipped upside yeah, down? Yeah, dude, there? the eagle went upside down and tried to claw the hawk. He's gone. He's off over that small hump there. That was so cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're at the end of the road for the truck and trailer. We got the Jeep unloaded, tires heading down, and we are headed out there looking for a Model T. Because 
one of them is not stuck and was able to get out so they're supposed to meet us at some intersection out here and then lead us into the rest of them so see if we can get some before that hits us that is coming over quick uh-huh yeah let's go <laughs> wow look over there that's looking nasty oh, yeah. let's let's get going road and I think I just saw one of their tire tracks. You saw a tire track this wide? Yeah it looked like it was actually like low tread and like four inches wide. So actually I'm gonna stop here real quick. Uh, let's it's do soft. some tracking. So they came out yesterday and it absolutely stormed in between. Look at, the, that's the quad. Yep, there. That's what I saw. This back one. There. This yep. is because a, a dirt bike would be right, knobby. Right here. You can see the sidewall, the way the lugs grab. See the little ripples. These guys. Yep. This yeah. is a Model T tire track. Because that was a dirt bike, it would be knobbies. This, look, this is the dirt bike. Yeah, we would. You can see back there. Is that's the, uh, the quad. That's the dirt bike. This from yesterday is the Model T. We have found a Model T with muddy tires. <laughs> there's no way that's not who we're looking for. <laughs> well, I mean, there's probably 10 yeah. to 20 of them out here. How's it going? I hope. This is my favorite thing to see ever. <laughs> I'm Casey. Dennis. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is so freaking cool. Hey. Dennis? Yes. Jeremy. Good to meet you. Did we see you yesterday? No. The day before yesterday? I don't think so. You're at the primal. Oh, that's Jason. Jason. Jason okay. Yeah. We, we saw him a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah, we saw him a couple days ago. And, uh, this is awesome. <laughs> Well, there's more of them. <laughs> <laughs> How many are out here? There's five of us. Five? There's well, there's there's three Model Ts, a Model A, and a 1921 Studebaker. That's awesome. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were coming to a car show. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I absolutely love that you like use That's them. Right. Oh boy, and we are using them too. We at this time, I think it borders on abuse. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, the word use is in abuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's camper special 9000 GVW super GVW custom. Not great vehicular wanderings. <laughs> <laughs> this is I got about 8000 to go. I feel like such a loser using this to get around the woods when you guys are doing it in these. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he agrees. That's one of my that's one of my favorite things is to come up on a bunch of kids with their four wheel oh, young God. guys with their four wheel drives and they're standing around like this and you, you drive up and you can watch the air come out of them. They just go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that a few times when you walk drive up. Yeah. Like, this uh, storm we've been watching it is moving in rapidly. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, the due. one last night was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Can I ride down with you guys? Yeah, yeah. you have to squeeze in the back, but that's fine. yeah. Right on okay. the roof. Yeah, this is all coming up over. Yeah. Edgy about. This is his first trip with this. <laughs> kind of a, uh, <laughs> first trip, he, you got him stranded overnight in a well, thunderstorm. He's, he's got a beautiful 16 T. Oh. <laughs> and he's. You're not, they're not supposed to be beautiful, they're supposed to be used. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I think of all the time I've saved in waxing and washing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta climb up and He wants to get the kinetic rope and run it through the cab. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pull you in here. <laughs> yeah, just give it a jerk. Okay, which way are we going? To your left, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, we had two of them stuck in a creek, in Cherry Creek the other day. And the Studebaker, we drained about four and a half gallons of water out of the crankcase of it. Woo. And then it fires right back up? And then, oh yeah, it fired right up. <laughs> and the 16, uh, the uh, rear end has a milkshake in it now. <laughs> this has dried up so much. That's why my rig's chained up is because I had, you know, I was, when I was coming through here earlier, 
I needed to be chained. Yeah. And, and there was a section section there that where the Studebaker is that, uh, and look at this, brand new uh, cattle crossing. I was the second one to go across it. Why? The road goes nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably the best time to get them out of here. It's probably as dry as it's gonna get. It's, yeah. Because it tonight it's supposed to it's, it's supposed to come back in with that thunderstorm again tonight. More than one last night did we have lightning strike about probably between 100 and 200 feet from where we were. Standing. Oh boy. Really? While I was sitting, everybody's going, oh well, we're sitting here in aluminum chairs. This may not be the smartest thing in the world. And then bam and I never seen this group scatter so fast. <laughs> you should That's see really the cool. the highway yeah. coming in here. There's sections of there's hundred yards. 100 yard long sections of the highway where all the water around the hillsides buried the highway. Oh, really? They got the loader down there where they're cleaning it out. Oh, really? The local said that some spots. Highway? Yep. There was oh. three feet of mud across the highway in some sections they had to dig out. That might not be the easiest way to get home then. That's <laughs> clear now. Yeah, they got it open right now, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's sections where the, the culvert, like the culverts are all completely filled in and everything's over top of the road. It's. Wow. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was. Well, we slept in the cars last night. It was, you know. <laughs> So awesome. It was not the best night's sleep ever, but it just kept raining and raining and raining and raining. Um, where is it? Ah, uh, this looks yeah, soupy yeah, in that, here. That was where Dave was stuck in the Model A to start with. The right side is way less soupy. <laughs> Sorry, don't pick up hitchhikers. Yeah, I heard there's some sketchy people in this area. We're going to keep going. <laughs> I think I would probably do that if I were you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so rad. Jeremy, this is the coolest rescue ever. This is absolutely the coolest thing I've ever gotten to come with you on. <laughs> it's also only the second, so... Well, we've gone, gone wheeling a few times. Yeah, no, we, we've gone wheeling a bunch, but this is, I think, only the second recovery yeah, you've come with me on. I'm too busy working on you guys. I know, work sucks. It always, like, ruins things. And the Studebaker is going to be the challenge because it's a much bigger, heavier car with less ground clearance. Well, George has got him up there and turned around. Okay. This is so cool, all these old cars all over out in the woods just wheeling everywhere. We're in the right area for it. Yeah. Just uh, period correct. Hey there, farmer. Having trouble? <laughs> <laughs> this is probably something you guys see every day. Oh, yeah, this is just a, a regular day. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just another day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he already ratted you out. <laughs> the truth is my best defense. Did he tell you that he followed me down here? Or that I followed him down here? Look, Dennis, our fire is back again. Uh-oh. That tree got hit by lightning last night. That's not oh, is this smoke? Uh, well, here's your problem. Your guy is sideways, for Christ's sake. Smoke coming out right there from a lightning strike. <laughs> so that tree got hit with lightning right there while you were stuck here? Yeah. yeah. So we got a fire on it's one side and a storm coming in on the other. Yeah. So, so is the thunderstorm that's coming going to put out that fire or start a bunch more? I'm going to go with start a bunch more. That's a, that's a good question. I I went down there and put it out earlier, but it, I, must, I must be back. Oh, did you really? Yeah. It was burning and flaming up around the tree. Oh. How did you find the time? You know, I just had to fit it in. It seemed important. <laughs> So, uh, well, should... maybe we could get George out. You go fire, fire, and yeah, I think I'll go fight a fire while you guys fight a different fire. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no big deal. He's just gonna go fight fire while we get <laughs> volunteer fire association. <laughs> Whatever county we're in, it's just a Studebaker. Come on, we can leave it here. <laughs> get another one. <laughs> yeah, this is where all the branches is, is where I was stuck. And then you made it out eventually. Well. Yeah. With the help of Jim's winch. Oh, yeah, that'll he, help. He went around and got in front of me and pulled me out. So we got to get that one through here? Well, either through there or around. Or around. 
um, whichever you think is best. I'm gonna walk that and look at it real quick. Yeah. Um, it is pretty rocky up there. I say it, that was like my next question. George's car is really, really nice, so we like, don't want to uh, beat it up. How, uh, uh, if we how, don't have how to. Stir uh, if we don't have how to. sturdy are your wheels and tires on those things? Do oh, you have a problem with this? No. Those those wood wheels are way stronger than you would think. That's not a thing you hear often. Oh, turning radius. The tree started back up. Well, yeah, tree's on fire again. I saw that sucker get hit. As far as the Studebaker, I'm not sure. I was facing this way and the other guys were out in front of us, you know, right about here. We scared like quail, I'm telling yeah. you. Where we're, we were oh at. yeah, he already routed you out that you guys are total chickens run up into the woods. <laughs> we got in there like we dove in there. We were in the pickup and I'm looking over that way and boom! And Mary and them just flattened out there and they all took off for the car. And then it started raining like crazy. I'm glad I turned it around then. Are you going to try that? So are we going to... I need better tools, but... What do you think, Jeremy? It's about to be a good time. <laughs> should we go the road or should we cut up? I think we're going to need to cut up unless okay. we want to uh, spend a few hours pulling things through. We can with the winch, but it's that's soggy. Yeah. Well, and I think the Studebaker is probably going to have to be winched. Up. Uh, and it needs to go that, that way backwards, backwards yeah. until we can turn around. Because if we come down, we're in that bad mud yeah, hole down there. And I don't want to put that heavy car in that mud hole. Yeah. So we'll have to take it backwards until we can get yep. to and a so spot to turn around. And so if we take around. this, and let me show you where we're... I, I think it'll crawl out of here without much trouble. Mm -hmm. You got a path back here? Yeah, we, yeah. we've already made it twice. But if it, if it doesn't, it, which I did not think are you're, do you're okay with driving out through the rocks? And yeah, you know, yeah, yeah we can do what we got to do to get it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got dark, it's getting over there in the sky. Both directions. We got wet last night. Yeah. yeah this is a oh, oh, I see where you went right here. Yep. So. The worst part is just some of the big rocks. Okay. Yeah, I think the best time to get them out is right now. Yeah. It's as dry as it's going to get before that hits and... Yeah, we spent another, another night out here with a rigging mess. Yeah. And then we turned them this way. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, um... We can... Just have that one try it, and if it needs, I can drive around it anywhere and get in front of it and pull it yeah. up. We'll see if it'll just go now that it's dried out some. Yeah, it's, it's if not, I'll pull it and then we'll go deal with that this Studebaker. Morning, called you, there's water running down the road. Cause that, it rained all last night. Oh, yeah, it was like we were watching the lightning storm from my house last night. Oh, it was fun, yeah, we were here. Are you going to drive it, Dennis? Pardon? Are you going to drive? Yeah. Or, or George? Okay. Well, well, to be fair, his is the one that's at the top of the hill, so he's got the most experience at getting out of here at this point. Yeah, yeah. He's, been up he's the one. He's the one reason that we're here. <laughs> For the reason you're here, he's the reason right. to get out. Well, I think uh, go yeah. ahead and see if it'll do it. Now it's dried out some. If not, I can drive around and get in front and pull okay. and tow it up. Yeah, you're gonna have to come up on down. Uh, if you went back up the roadways, are you gonna try to go through the mud hole? I can go around it. Yeah, that's no big deal. Yeah, mosquitoes are coming out. Let's uh, get everything out before we get eaten. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, that's coming quick. This is a 1916 wooden wheels. Check. Okay. Well, we may have some more issues here then. Let me let me give it a try. See what what it feels like. I got I got I got a wrench. I cannot tell you guys how much I love the fact that you're out wheeling in this thing. Like, you're the coolest people I've ever met in my life. Well, you may be. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Don't Casey, this is how you know the, uh, their huevos are larger than ours. Do we want to yeah. put the top down, George? Uh, yeah, or you'll bounce through it. Yeah. Don't worry, put my head. I don't think I've ever heard that with wheeling. We've been in a lot of nasty places. This was this takes the cake for a while. Let's, let's fold the top down so that if you get bounced out of there, you don't hurt the top on your way out. Yeah. <laughs> don't hit your head. I'm not catching you when you fly out. Uh, Good, now I can get into it. Okay, I'll, get, I'll go mark the bottom. Cool. Thanks,
first link with a three plane. We gotta put this on your RTI ramp. <laughs> yes. All right, if this turns into like an hour and a half long video, don't get mad at me for making a long video. It's just that everything here is so freaking cool that I couldn't leave it out. Release the fox! <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Even more amazing if you know how to drive them. <laughs> no, no. Well, all you got to do is kick it into four low and crawl right out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so. Oh, the the hell? Oh, saved it. I'm buying one of these. If I had on the seat with my butt would have held me down. Good thing you put the top down. <laughs> I thought you guys were joking. It wasn't even a sort of joke. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Right here. Right here. You see what just happened? The whole thing is solid. <laughs> except, the, the, except this headlight lens that fell off. <laughs> I, I see why that one's duct taped on now. Yeah. Hey, Captain, she's breaking up. I believe this belongs to you. Oh, thank you. The grand prize. Uh, I'll hand you the rest when we're done. <laughs> See how much there is. You going right here? I want one so bad. I can't tell. Okay. No, we, we, we need these. Well, we only took one piece off of George's cart. Would, uh, if you guys are mobile, I would start anything that's mobile on the way out so that we can recover it as needed rather than... Yeah, so you, you have a winch? Yeah, and, and chains on. Okay, so you can oh, winch. Shit, my, my recovery ropes are still in the front of the... I got, I got plenty. Yeah, well, I figured you'd be So, he's going to winch this one out. Well, we head down and get the Studebaker. Stuck on what? <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, you're Smokey's friend. Firefighter's back. Looks like there's more water on you than on the tree. Well. Oh. <laughs> did you did you have that bucket at about head height when it let go? <laughs> fighting a fire with a, a cup. <laughs> How and far from the, the, the stream? The faucet's is? like a hundred yards away. <laughs> well, good job. You think you're gonna want to pull it backwards the whole way? Uh, 
I don't know how far. This is a lot more solid than it was before. Yeah, I don't know if if maybe get it out of where it's at and back it into here and then go out forward right there. I probably or because that that's a long way backwards for it's through soft soft stuff where we turn around again. So I'm thinking it might be best to try to pull it in here. I don't I would be surprised if I was able to drive very much right there. But, but if I'm behind you pulling you with the winch. Oh sure. Maybe maybe I'll set up right in there and uh, up there and then I'll winch you over this way. And then I can pull back out around in front of you and pull you frontwards up that way so you're facing the right direction. Yesterday I was the least stuck car. <laughs> after all the rain last night it just What do you think this one weighs? Nine billion pounds. Okay. <laughs> That's, all of, that's all, probably what all of my camping equipment is lead. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, all the he, Linus is really into vintage camping, so all. But no, I'd have cool. never ever guess that. <laughs> well, I mean, his his stoves and his cookware and all that is all vintage tables and. Speaking and of none cookware, of it was light back then. <laughs> my uh, my camp cook kitchen box got <laughs> as well when. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, George ran into the back of him yesterday. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, and the, bump, the this bumper no, 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 is no, like spring here. here. The bumper is like bent in a little, and there's a dent here, and it's, you know, it's not. Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's a lot, of, a lot easier to lower your standards, Lance, than it is to raise the quality. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I'm working on it. That's why. That I'm is a very out. true statement. <laughs> These are my people. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember that. <laughs> Next time you're at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Never used it there. <laughs> I mean, I guess it applies just the same. Yeah, it's just gonna say. <laughs> I'm just imagining you sitting at the bar going, now remember what Dennis said. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's listening, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> This is that uh, that very well used winch line that I used in the, uh, the ring demonstration video that everybody said I destroyed because I used it the way I did with the rings. As you can see, uh, it's still just fine. Looks pretty good. I don't even see any wear on it. Okay, you're good. Electric starter was pretty fancy. Real fancy. <laughs> Half a quart of oil. Totally destroyed, huh? That looks pretty messed up. You didn't up. see that video, did you? No, I missed that one. He doesn't watch my videos. I, I catch occasional ones. They pop up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get out of the liner fire. Turn hard, passenger! It, it's really hard to do heat. Yeah. Put it in reverse just a little bit. There you go. There it is. Nice. A little less. There you go, right there. Yep. Yep, keep that angle. It'll lift you up onto solid in a minute. Yep. Keep coming. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's good right there. Okay. I'll unhook and move over so I can pull it back into over. Yeah. I think you can run a snatch block off the little block. I'll just back myself in here.
Clouds are uh, coming up quick there. It's getting dark. It's nice we and bright a minute ago. We definitely have a deadline to get out of here. <laughs> Nice and stretchy. Yeah. I wonder if this is the oldest vehicle a Yankum rope has ever pulled out. It's a very, very good we're possibility. We have, have to make some phone what, uh, calls. What, what, what year is that? 1921. 1921. We might be setting a world record. <laughs> oldest vehicle ever recovered by a Yankum rope. I know when you are definitely sitting. Biggest piece of shit. <laughs> no. no, I've got my own stuff stuck too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go kind of wide right here to, 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 so you can help clear that rock. All right. And then I'll just be in low here and we'll try to go. All right. Come on up. Yeah. You ready? Yep. I was going to say, that's not one I think we want to apply kinetic force to. Yeah, there you go. Bet that little juniper in those rocks almost has enough of a taproot to hold it. I've got enough extension to get to that. A big those, one. There's actual trees too if we need. Can you imagine what it would take in back in the day to get one of those things out of the mud? A horse. Bring yeah. one of your own. <laughs> here, we'll find out. <laughs> well, I've already pulled it out once this trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so did you. <laughs> it's heavy. Uh, a little 5,000 pound winch had to do all it could do.
100% of the time. I think. Oh yeah, they're moving fast. Yep. We might get a uh, an all day or after this one. Hold up, a sec. Get that line out of it. You're gonna want to come all the way over here. Think it'll go? Hold up, hold up a sec. Oh, on that rock? Yeah, it's locking him in. Can you back up a little bit? <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. I don't think we're moving that one. Can we stick something right there? A stick? Yep. Another flat rock? Yeah. If that, if it might be able to be ramped, yeah. Here we go. You got one? Perfect. See if that'll make it a little ramp, maybe so. If not, I can reach off of that tree and yeah. slow it easy, you know? It should lift it. <laughs> You've almost got him up onto this firm stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's right. These things are a hundred years old now. Take a video of my uh, air conditioning system. It looks nice. Look, so normally you close the door and it latches there. Close. Yeah. But if you want air conditioning, you fold this out and then it latches on. <laughs> oh, it's open. <laughs> and it pulls a little air through. So for all the millennials out there that say uh, the world was uh, a different place for their fathers, mothers, grandfathers, and you know life was easier back then. I'm gonna go with I don't believe that. I think that is a lot easier I than trying to get that. But I'd rather have this too. I I, I want one now. <laughs> Hi, right, They're Jack, amazingly good? capable. Yeah, they are. Like, you know what you do is you go up to one of the ones that's parked. You slap a for sale sign on it. No, say I'll I'm take it and leave. For sale sign on this TJ. So I can build up one of these. Anybody want to buy my TJ? Can I build one of these? <laughs> Done. I'm making the deal I'll, for I'll Casey. I'll build one of these out and make it like a full recovery. Can you imagine if I Did you hear him? He said he trades straight across. Let's it. do it. The wheels are turning. <laughs> Why'd you stop in the middle of the mud? I didn't have a choice. 
nice. <laughs> <laughs> End of story. We're not even done yet. And this already wins. Well, you know, now you've given me the confidence to do it again. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Like, but I got to know. You're still going to do the trade straight across. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> you hear him? He's like, is that the original Jeep Club? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the guy's face like, what is, what the hell is wrong with them fellas? <laughs> well, that was fun. So, it <laughs> says a lot. I hate mud with a passion. And this is my favorite recovery I've ever done. <laughs> we did it just for you. <laughs> I mean, if you turned around and went back, we'd do it again. Hey, he said, 
Uh, this is out of all their adventures they've done. This is the first time they've ever had to have someone come rescue them. That's impressive. Well, for way, being stuck right anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-three well, we inch made tires. A drive conversion for these things called a Living Good. Really? <laughs> and Not Jim really. had one he thought bought in Colorado, and the guy sold it out from underneath him. But I'm going to be on Facebook Marketplace tonight. <laughs> 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 My wife's going to be so mad. <laughs> no, no, you may not need to do that. You might have one for sale. <laughs> <laughs> a truck or a wife? <laughs> well, wait, which, which, which one's more, more maintenance? The, uh, Careful saying that one out loud. I'm getting in trouble yeah. territory. Problem don't, old, don't answer that question. <laughs> the problem with old cars is there's no 12 step program to get over them. Uh, once you get started, <laughs> it's. it's Oh, it's it. You hear that yeah, thunder? It's on its way. 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 Look at those guys piling up. Oh man, that was uh, that was about two hours away from real problems. Well, yeah. the same problem as yesterday. Anyway. Yeah. Well, <laughs> doubling double, well double, doubling problem. down on that one. Yeah, it's already do the same problem twice. Let's do something new. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make more problems. Yeah. New problems never before conceived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's coming in heavy. So I've been told. This has some meaning to it, and it needs to be explained. It has a huge amount of meaning. <laughs> historical artifact. Um, what I did was take the, the script for Ford, cut the side crossbar off of it, made it into a T, opened the top of the O, made it a U, so it went from Ford to Turd, and the person that has the most number of problems, not the most severe, but the most number of them when we're on a trip, is the current Golden Turd Award winner. And you can see, <laughs> right now it's on Jim's car, but not for this trip. This was from the last trip. Okay, well after this trip? After this trip? Who, uh, you! <laughs> yeah, 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 I had the most problems on this trip. I don't know because, you know. I lost a wheel. Jim lost a wheel. You lost a me. wheel? Yeah, I was gonna grab a road and my nut came loose and it slid on it. We're 20 feet down on it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no, there's no brakes in there. By the way, no the brake. rig you're getting in doesn't have brakes, Casey. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so we took a coarse thread nut and cross-threaded it onto a fine thread shaft. But <laughs> <laughs> so no brakes. No, uh, no, no. It's got I, the stock I have model T brakes. brakes but have brake. Yeah, you guys are going to have to create a spreadsheet for this trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. We do, pretty much. Linus got his stuck in a creek and had to take... Oh. Four and a half to five gallons of water out of the crankcase and then drain the oil and change it. We did. <laughs> and George with the, the uh, 16 T. Yeah, he stuck too. His uh, rear end was full of, of uh, water we and it had out. to be pulled out of the, the creek as well. And then his brakes got stuck on. Yeah. Yeah, oh boy. So, so, oh, so right. some of you have brakes that are locked up permanently and others of you don't have any brakes no, at all. No. Yeah. Does anybody have functional brakes? I do, I do, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but funk is the, the, the key word. Okay. <laughs> we put the fun back in funeral. <laughs> so, next time we see you guys, we'll see who has the golden turd. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a roving award. I had it uh, I had before it. the last trip, and then Jim got it. And now it'll move on to somebody else. If nobody has any problems on a trip at all, which is, it happens, actually for 100 year old cars, it happens quite often. Um, whoever has it keeps it until there's a, an issue. But you can see we don't baby them, so sometimes we create our own issues. <laughs> like driving through a creek, for instance. That was, oh, it was probably this deep. What's that? Cherry Creek. Oh yeah, it was, it was yeah. here. <laughs> Yeah. Our, our boxes got water in them. Oh. Yeah, we should probably work our way towards the main road. This is the coolest car club I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Raining off over there. 
Do you guys see the difference in the weather from the time we came into this valley to the time we're headed out? Uh, that over there is when we were looking at that uh, flower field. It definitely does not look the same. So Jim had a spare hat uh, uh, here in his car, and he no longer has a spare hat. It's mine now. <laughs> He's an honorary member. Honorary member. I'm going home with you. I'm a little bit trader. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy can drive the Jeep back. <laughs> see what he says. No, go say that. Hey. This thing's cutting out real bad, so we're gonna put it on the trailer. You're gonna drive that back. Okay. I told you you just wanted to drive the Jeep. No, we're kidding. I don't driving Jeep just because I like land here. He still didn't get that we were joking. <laughs> yeah, you guys get started. We'll tie down and head out of here. Thank you, thank you for calling because this is hands down my favorite recovery I've ever done. Well, thank this, you. you guys win, thank and you. I don't know what's going to top it. Well, glad and, to be able to. Until do the next. Oh shit, rattlesnake! Oh, rattlesnake! Oh, big one too. Rattlesnake. Oh, he's good size. Yeah, it's not that big. He's thick. Doggy, watch your. Yeah, watch, watch, watch where you're stepping elsewhere. Yeah. Come here. Rattlesnakes are like Twinkies, they come in pairs. Yeah, say grab the dog. Oh, oh, he mad. He's, he's real mad. <laughs> All right, well, before I have any more of a worse day. <laughs> yeah. That was a uh, good Although, catch. You what? guys made it a great day. You guys made my day great. I was going to say, that wasn't us. You guys did it. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Oh, he, he's real I'm going to let you go you. first. I was. Set the pace. Yeah, lightning starting off over there, so we'll get tied down and out of here. We'll catch up with you guys. Wow. You hear that? So we are back at our field of flowers where we came in here in the beginning. And I wasn't kidding about the hat. It's mine now. Uh, Jim made me an honorary member. And we didn't quite realize how bad we were racing the clock yeah. when we came in here. But it's moving in quick. You could see. Woo, woo, there, we there we go. We're back here the other end, of the, we're at that end of the valley on those hills. You see the rain, that's right where we were where all that rain's coming down over there. And then it is storming over here. Lightning coming across. Thunder. Oh, cut a trailer tire on a rock. <laughs> Their driveway's destroyed. Oh man. Incident ahead. No, incident is right here. <laughs> the irony. For sale. <laughs> Needs a new driveway, but it's for sale. <laughs> Hopefully these guys didn't have to turn around and come back. Oh. Right, another rattlesnake. Splattered? Yep. Well, if it wasn't, I got it for sure. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so are we unloading the Jeep? We might. Before we go across. <laughs> oh! oh. Loose gravel, Jeremy. <laughs> There's loose gravel. I, w I would say that. Wow! That is so cool! The adventure ain't over yet. <laughs> I thought we were done with the video, you know, but no, like, no, nope. No. It's going again. Thank God we brought snackies. We're back. <laughs> oh, man. Ew, that looks not friendly. I don't want to get too far to that side. It's all washed out. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Oh. 
Look, it's right to the edge of the road here. And it's filling up. With the lightning in the background. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is the big one. So it's not bad. Look at the amount that's pushing out of it, though. So this is the culvert all where the road's washed out. Oh, this man. is where we started this video. <laughs> oh! It's, uh, like, sketchy. Look at that. That's all flooded. Look at those. Oh, Look at the irrigation lines are trashed. It's almost in the field. Wow. So that looked like the worst one on the way in, even though it was all cleaned off, but we'll see. <laughs> Maybe it's like the mud already got pushed out. I, I don't know. I don't think we can expect anything on this trip because nothing has been normal today. I was say, that's uh, everything is. Very, very out of the out of the ordinary. Yeah, it's not a normal day. <laughs> Bro. Ooh, this looks nasty. That looks like losing a trailer tire on all that sharp rock, doesn't it? Uh, good. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. With Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> so, the road's washed out over here. Yeah. It's all undermined. I don't know how far it's undermined, but it is. I guess if I stay up here, I'd be alright because I don't want to get into those rocks. I don't want to get pushed that way. Hey! Drive it through! Uh, the storm is... Whew. Well, the storm is storming. It's raining a lot more up in those hills, so... It's only going to get worse, so we might as well get across. Stay high. Perfect. Dude! This is ridiculous. This is like insane. The best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Right. 